everyone! I'm Jenna with Brown Dog Craft Company. I'm coming to you live from Hudson, Wisconsin. Today is Friday, April 12th. It is 4 p.m. Central here in Wisconsin, and today we are here for the 2022 to 2024 in color retirement party. And before we get too far, let me say that about one minute ago I was getting everything ready and I realized that I never emailed you out the PDF for class. <laughs> so um, I'm sorry about that. Normally when you take a class from me, you get a PDF. Um, so for those of you who did sign up to take the class, I apologize. I didn't send the PDF out. I, I just completely spaced it. And I think it's because this is I normally teach class on Tuesdays and it's not Tuesday evening. So uh, it just went right over my head and I forgot to email it out. So I will email the PDF to everyone um, when we are finished, but it is pretty simple. It's the five retiring in colors and every card is made the same just with different colors. So it's not, it's not too involved of a PDF, I guess is what I should say. So <laughs> Um, so as you're joining, say hello and let me know where you're joining from. I'd love to hear where you all are. Let me know if you have weekend plans. So, oh, hi, Angelique. I'm glad you are here live too. Hi, Christina. You guys are funny. Okay, so um, I will flip the camera and I will show you what we have. Milo's here. He's laying down right here. He's hot. <laughs> um it's not that hot out, but it's like 60s. It's really windy here, but like low 60s. And it's just hot in the house. So he's warm. He's laying on the floor where it's nice and cool, hopefully. I don't have a fan down here, but I think he'll be okay. So uh, today's cards use an also retiring set. I'm not sure if it's still available. I should have looked, but it's Share a Milkshake. So I think Share a Milkshake was a bundle two years ago when it premiered. And now, or this past year, it was available as like a stamp and die, like separate purchase. And um, it's retiring, which is sad because it's really cute. But we do have a lot of new cute stamp sets coming. So um, I want to share a couple things with you too before we get into class. And then um, we have a bit of stamping and die cutting. So um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do all the stamping first and then the die cutting, which... The stamping is fun, the die cutting is kind of boring, and then we'll get into making the cards, and I think that will make the flow go quicker versus stamping and die cutting five different times for five different cards. So um, if you're watching the replay and you don't want to do it that way, you can do it however you want. So, okay. Um, oh, I don't even have the camera on. I did that on Tuesday too. I forgot to turn the camera on. Okay. So. I will put the camera down and um, get myself here and we can chat. All right. Okay. Um, I will show you the cards we're going to make today. So we are on the In Color Retirement Party. If you don't have or don't want to use Share a Milkshake, I think you could use these Hi Trish. Just watching now. Um, if you missed the beginning, I I completely spaced sending everyone out the PDF. So the PDF will become after class this time. So, um, okay, so these are the other sets that you could use. And this card kit was special because inside of it, oops, sorry. Um, inside of it, this is what they came in. And inside of the kit, you get a full pack of these the twine, the in color twine, and a full pack of these embellishments. So, okay, and then you get the fun DSP and five cards and envelopes to make all of your cards. So, um, I do still have more of these kits if you'd like, and if you're watching this and um, you'd like them, they're $45 and I will mail them out to you. So, you just need to add your own stamps and dies. And um, I forget what else I was going to say about them, but I still have some. I guess is my point. <laughs> okay, um, these are the cards we'll make. There's one in each of the retiring in colors. Okay, um, and then quickly, I thought maybe I would talk about a couple of new things. So, first off, is I am designing cards for classes in May, and I have the bundle class for May designed. So the bundle class for May is, I think on my schedule I have it. Um, titled as flowering zinnias bundle class but it is 
Simply Zinnia. And that was an online exclusive. It has those cute sequin embellishments and um, the DSP, the really pretty DSP. So the bundle class for May is four cards and it's $25. So you can sign up for that if you'd like. I thought I finished the cards, so I thought maybe you'd want to see them. Um, so they're, they're hot off the press, right? I don't have anything to go with them besides just showing them to you. So this will be one of the cards. This uses the new ribbon in the new catalog. It's like a petal pink and white combo pack. Okay, and I, I don't have most of the insides done. Okay, and this will fold up most likely. Not, not this way. Okay, so this will fold up. So that's one card. Um, this one is card number two. And get the camera to focus eventually. Usually I think if I put it down. This one is unique because it holds a special surprise. There we go. So it has a special surprise on the inside right here. It's a Zinnia seed packet. Okay. Thanks, Elaine. So these are, um, I, I mean, it's not really a fun fold, but we'll make a little pocket out of the DSP there. Okay. So you could use any stamp set and any flower stamp for this, any flower or any sentiment stamp here. Here's the third one. You just need a sentiment. This actually uses, um, is it sweetly scripted, I think? So this will all come in Boston die cut for you. You'll get this ribbon, which is from the Latte Suite. And no inside yet on that one, but okay. So that's card number three. And then this one is card number four. Oh, this one has an inside. You never know when I do the inside and when I don't ahead of time. Sometimes I just do them for class. And um, sometimes I do them ahead of time, so... So you just need like a sentiment for that one. Okay. All right. So I thought you'd want to see those. Those are the four cards for the May bundle class. And then um, on Tuesday we were live and we made three cards. I do still have some card kits left. This is the Let's Craft card class for April. And I have a few kits left. They're $22 if you want one. This is card one. Card two and card three okay so those were those three just thought i'd throw that out there um okay next tuesday is the monthly subscription class and that was oh beach day i think i showed you those i think i showed you all the other cards that are coming up for class i showed you april 30th that's these I think I showed you those. That's $25. And I think I showed you the fun folds too. So I still have card kits. So if you are interested in them, let me know. Okay. I have a lot of the fun folds left. A lot of the fun fold card kits left. So, okay. All right. Um, and then there's one other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. If you're on my email distributions, you would have received this. Um, and if you want to be on my email distributions, you can go to my website. It's browndogcraftcompany.com. And when you're there, you can uh, sign up to be notified of um, anytime I send out an email. Okay. So what I am doing new for the 2024 to 2025 catalog is an in-color club. So you'll be able to see this information either if you go to the blog post that's on my blog, so it's on browndogcraftcompany.com, you can download this, or um, if you read the email, you, you can sign up for it there too. But um, in the email, there'll be a link to this um, page here, which is just a PDF of the In Color Club. So the In Color Club, how it works is you get every month for five consecutive months, you get pretty much everything that is available in the new in color. So let's say you sign up for the in color club. You have to make a five month commitment. So by signing up, you're saying that you're going to commit for the full five months every month. And um, I will order everything. Like let's say you're going to get peach pie. So you'll get peach pie cardstock, the stampin' pad, the refill, 
the glimmer paper, um, a special card made by me using that in color. You'll get the Stampin' Write marker, the Stampin' Blends combo pack, the roll of the ribbon, the designer series paper, and a free gift. Okay, so that's what you'll get in one month. So one month, you'll get one color, and then the next month, you'll get another color, and then by the end of five months, you will have everything for all of the new in colors. So those are Peach Pie, Pretty in Pink, Summer Splash, Petunia Pop, and Shy Shamrock. Okay, so it is $65 per month plus $9 shipping. So $74 per month. And um, I'll hold this up here. So the deadline to sign up is April 28th. Um, I can only do it to U.S. addresses, otherwise the shipping is quite a bit. So payment must be received by the last day of the prior month. So I will send you invoices. So I'll send you an invoice by April, and you'll need to pay it by April 30th to get your kit for May, and, and, and so on. Okay, so I'll, I'll send you an invoice about a week ahead of time, and it just needs to make sure that you pay me before then. So you can pay me um, electronically. And if you're gonna pay by cash or check, just make sure it gets to me by the last day of the month, okay? I'll make sure to check the PO box that last day of the month because then the next day, I'm gonna go and place the order for everyone who has paid, okay? So if you haven't paid, I'm not gonna order all this stuff for you. All right, does that make sense? And then um, if anything's out of stock and I can't buy it, I will include those items in a future in color package once they become available for purchase again okay so uh, if you want to sign up um, there are links in the email that I sent out or on my website so if you go right to my website I'll show you here let's just go right there okay so this is my website let's see if the camera can focus let me get rid of you. Come on, camera. So right when you go to my website, browndogcraftcompany.com, it'll be right here. Sign up for the 2020 floor to 2026 in color club. Okay. So you click that, you fill out the form, and it lets me know that know that you want to sign up. Okay. So it's just uh, sign up due by April 28th. Okay, and we'll get that going. I'm really excited to do it. I've never done it before, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. So, all right, one other thing that we will do for today is I have a pack of the 2022 to 2024 in color Stampin' Write markers here, unopened, brand new, and we will do a drawing at the end of class for those who purchased class from me today. We'll do a drawing for one of you to win this, okay? So I'll set that aside. If I forget, someone please remind me <laughs> um, at the end of class, okay? And... Um, I think class will probably take about two hours just because we have to die cut a lot. I'm hoping like hour and a half of actual crafting time. Um, but we do have a fair amount to die cut. So you can pull out your card kits. And in your card kits, you're going to have a half sheet of white cardstock. This is what we're going to stamp on. Okay. You're going to have a full package of your pearls. Mine are obviously open. I've used them. And you'll have a full pack of the twine. Again, mine are open because I've used them. Okay, so you're only going to use a couple inches of this twine. You will have so much left over, it's not even funny. <laughs> okay, you're also going to have your in-color DSP, one of each color. And you can decide which, which side you want to use. Some of you will have this pattern. Okay, and some of you will have this pattern. Okay, so the kit or the packages come with those two different sheets in each in color. Okay, so you can decide which one, which side you want to use, or if you want to use both of them, you know, some with this side and some with that side, totally up to you. Okay, the five colors that you will need are the five retiring in colors. So that would be Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, and Tahitian Tide. Now, um, your DSP is not cut for you. So inside your envelopes here is going to be everything that you need for all five cards, except your DSP is six by six. That's actually how it comes. It comes six by six. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to cut your DSP, and you're going to have a little bit left over to put on the inside of your 
card. Okay. So I think before we open anything up, let's do some stamping. So you all should have your piece of white cardstock and sorry, mine's got a dog hair on it. Um, you should all have your white cardstock and I will set this out as an example, but we're going to stamp the, in each color, we're going to stamp the top of the ice cream here and both of the straws. And then, you know, I'm trying to decide because we do have to stamp this. Well, let's, let's just do all the ice creams and the straws first. So let's do those. So let's pull out our stamp set and get the little ice cream. Oh, I don't need such a big block. The little ice cream topper and the straw. And for the straw, you don't need the solid piece. You just need the little um, stripe piece. It kind of reminds me of like a stripe down the road when you're driving. So. All right, so let's stamp these. Trying to make sure that's straight. Let's stamp one of each of these in the colors. So I'm gonna open up my ink pads. Here's Parakeet Party and Sweet Sorbet and Starry Sky. So tell me in the chat, what is your which color are you saddest to see go? Which one is your favorite that's retiring? And then I'll tell you mine. Okay, so we're going to stamp. Let's start with Orchid Oasis. So we're going to stamp Orchid Oasis ice cream. And then we need two Orchid Oasis straws. So here is one and two. Okay, and then we'll clean those off. Okay. And then we'll go to Sweet Sorbet. I'm just gonna swipe it quick here. Okay, and then we'll do sweet sorbet. We need two straws. Trish says sweet sorbet, no other reds quite the same shade. Yep, I, it is It is definitely one of a kind. It's like a pinky red. Sweet Sorbet. Okay. Elaine says Sweet Sorbet is her favorite also. Angelique says Starry Sky and Sweet Sorbet. Okay, now I'm going to go to Parakeet Party. Whoops, sorry, I'm off camera. Just, just yell at me if you ever can't see. <laughs> okay. And... Okay, and then I'll do Starry Sky. I feel like I have different favorite colors of the ink than I do the cardstock, which is kind of weird. Like, why? <laughs> but I, I, they, they're just different. Okay, these two are easy to get mixed up, the Starry Sky and the Orchid Oasis. So maybe stamp them apart from each other and keep them separate. <laughs> okay, and then Tahitian Tide. Okay, so I'll tell you my favorites. My favorite ink color is, that is retiring is Sweet Sorbet. 
And my favorite cardstock color that is retiring is Tahitian Tide. Not that I don't like the others. I do. I, I like them all. Okay. That is everything that I think we need to stamp that's not in the card kit. We do need to do more. Did I clean these off? No. We do need to do more, but they're in the card kits. So let's die cut. What should we chat about while we die cut? <laughs> I'm gonna close up my ink pads while we die cut. Otherwise, I will put my fingers in them. Guaranteed. Okay. Today was an interesting day. Oops, I just put my finger in that. Today was interesting for me. Um, I was in line. Well, I went to the post office and realized that immediately after I put my letter in the drop box, like within seconds. I realized that I forgot to put a stamp on it. So there's that, right? That's how my day started. So that was super fun. <laughs> and um, I'm going to use some post-it tape to line up my dies. I'm going to do, here's ice cream and straw. So that was really fun um, that I forgot to do that. And I was really mad at myself because now I have to mail... I have to mail the letter again. And then I went over to the car wash. And Milo was with me. I went over to the car wash. And the person in front of me was taking a really long time. And the person was trying to help them. Like the person who works at the car wash was trying to help them. And they kept like putting their car in park. And then putting it in reverse. Because the reverse lights kept coming on. And... Um, they did that for quite some time, like three or four minutes. And I'm, I was just waiting, like, I don't, I can't go anywhere. There's someone behind me. So I'm not moving from where I am, right? There's no, there's no leaving the spot. And then, um, he, the guy who was working the car wash came back to me and he told me that the person in front of me was having trouble because when you pull into the this particular car wash, you have to like drive onto a track and then put your car in neutral. And it was a brand new car and it was an electric car and they couldn't figure out how to put it in neutral. There, there was like no, there was no neutral. And I don't, maybe those of you who have an electric car know how that works, but I, I don't, I don't, my car's old. I, I don't know how to drive an electric car, I guess. So, um, yeah, they couldn't figure it out. So then um, a few more minutes goes by and nobody can figure it out. I'm like, well, let's, let's, let's Google it. <laughs> so lo and behold, there is a YouTube video out there that shows you how to put an electric car, this particular brand, into neutral. So we watched it, me and this car wash technician. Um, and... I mean, Milo thought it was great. He sat there and um, the guy petted him while we waited and watched this video. And so after the video was done, it was like three minutes. You like push buttons on the screen to change the gears. Or I don't think you're changing the gears. I don't know what you're changing on an electric car. But anyway, he went up to the car and, you know, 20 seconds later, the car was in neutral and it was driving. So <laughs> then... Um, that car went through the car wash, and then I went through the car wash, and it was fine. But, you know, it was just kind of, it took a long time, and we were there a while. and So that's how my day started, and then, yeah, you know, from there. So, everything is all fine and good, and now their car's nice and clean. But I also was a little surprised that... The dealership, this was a brand new car. They literally just drove it from the dealership. And the dealership didn't go wash the car for them. So I was a little surprised. I thought that's what dealerships did when you buy a car from them. I don't know. 
Love it. You educating the car wash guy. Yeah, it was really funny. Like, I would like to go. <laughs> so I guess I'll just help solve the problem, right? I couldn't go backwards. There were people behind me. And I couldn't go forwards. So we figured it out. So I guess now I know how to put an electric car in into neutral, which is not really neutral. It's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that an electric car would get me around. Like, I have to drive the kids all over the place. So I don't know that it would last enough, I guess. I don't know how long they last. Like, before you have to charge them again, I mean. So, it was just more funny than anything. Milo didn't care. It was nice out. I, pu I put the window down, and he thought it smelled great there, and it, yeah, it was all fine. <laughs> so, the kids would have thought it was fun, too. My kids want one of those cars solely because it plays music or has the ability to play music outside of the car. And I'm like, you guys, <laughs> if you roll the windows down and turn the music up loud enough, our car does that, too. <laughs> So, they're funny. So, yeah, like, earlier this week we were having some issues with our car. And we had to go bring it in to get fixed. And the kids are like, let's buy a new car. Let's just buy a new one. And I'm like, well, there's not really any. Like, yes, there's something wrong with the car we have. But, I mean, we could just fix it and keep driving it. <laughs> I don't, I don't think we need a new car just because we have to fix it, right? I, I don't know. I'm one of those people that I drive my cars until they actually can't drive anymore. <laughs> so I don't plan on getting a new car. The kids plan on getting a new car, but we'll see. My aunt gets a new car, like, every two years. She leases them. So every two years, she has a fun, cute car, and I don't. I have the same boring car, but that's all right. Okay. And I need a big car because of the kids. You know, I they don't fit very well in a little car, so... Especially when they were a little bit younger and I had to have three car seats because they're all really close in age and I, I had to have three car seats in the back. So they still sit right on top of each other and it's really great when they argue in the back seat So because they can all touch each other. Like, you guys, stop. Stop arguing. Stop touching each other. It, yeah, it, I can't wait until one of them can sit in the front seat <laughs> with me. Okay, I think we have everything die cut that um, for the front, except for our little ice cream cups, which we can die cut those um, here next. Okay, so let's pull out. We're going to need our little cherry stamp here now. It's pretty little. Put it on a little A block, which I wonder if these blocks are still um, available to purchase because they're retiring. So we need an A, or we, we, we need an A, we need a cherry, and then we need Life is Sweeter with You. Oh, that doesn't, doesn't quite fit on this block. Life is Sweeter with You. And then we'll need our ice cream cup. There's like a shadow, and there's like the detail. Which, I don't even think I stamped the shadow, now that I'm looking at it. I don't think we stamped the shadow. No. Just the detail. Okay, so we just need the detail piece. A block is gone. Oh, Angelique says A block is already gone. Christina says, my hubby wanted to get me a new car. I said, no, ours is paid off and it runs great. I know, isn't that the hardest thing? So Angelique says the A block is gone. Angelique, is this one still there? Um, 
I wonder if the G block is still there. I should get some G blocks if there are. I think these ones are going away too, aren't they? Or are the G ones staying? I can't remember. Yeah, Christina, I don't want a new car because I don't want a car payment. <laughs> so, um, no thank you. Car payments are the worst. They really are. They're frustrating. <laughs> okay. Let's pull out. Sorry, my little bow came untied on that one. What color should we start with? I cannot find my card kits. Here they are. All right, let's start with, ooh, Parakeet Party. Okay, so pull out your Parakeet Party. Um, you're not going to have any embellishments in here because you have the full pack of embellishments, okay? So you're going to pull out your Parakeet Party card base. And in each of these card kits, you're going to have the same thing just in that in color. So you're going to have a sparkle. This is glimmer paper, but it's from two years ago. It's from 2022. And I have some in my stash, so I die cut it for you guys. Okay, so that's going to um, be on our ice cream. You're going to get a little rectangle, and this is what you're going to stamp your milkshake on, and then we'll die cut it out. This is for your sentiment. And then to banner the ends, you can do whatever you'd like to banner the ends. I'm going to use the Happy Labels Pick a Punch, which is retiring, but it's one of my favorites. Okay, but you can banner the ends however you want. You'll have a die cut from con Color and Contour. Contours dies, also retiring. Angelique says, I think G is still available, but yes, A, G, and I are being discontinued, which I almost never use I. I think I is this one. Yeah, I almost never use this one. But A and G, I use a lot. I use a lot. Okay, you're going to get, um, these are two slightly different sizes. So the first one is going to be your card front mat and it is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then right below that, you're going to get your inside, which is four by five and a quarter. Okay. So that's your inside piece. Um, you know what, before we do this, should we die? Uh, should we cut our paper too? Let's cut our paper. So let me just set that right here. We'll come back to that. Let's cut our paper. So, I've got to find my paper trimmer. Where did I put it? Here it is. G is gone also. Oh, bummer. I only have one of those. Yep, I only have one G. I really like that block. Okay, uh, this is going to be, we're going to cut these all the same. And you'll want to decide which direction you want your paper to go. So it probably doesn't matter for these two patterns, but it will for this pattern. So decide if you have this pattern and you want to use it, decide if you want your stripes in this orientation or in the, in the up and down, in the vertical orientation, because that's how you're going to cut your paper. So it's going to be four inches wide across the top by five and a quarter long. So I'm going to take my cardstock and mine is really non-directional. I suppose it's slightly um, ombre. I don't know. I can't really tell. So I'm going to do four, whoops, four, I'm going to save this little piece by five and a quarter. Oh, am I supposed to be, we could, we could cut it at five and a quarter first because we're going to do a little one inch strip on the inside. Okay, and here's my little one inch strip for the inside. So I'll set those two aside. Then let's cut this. So then, is G the smallest rectangular block? Yes, it's this one. And it's really nice for little sentiments. Or like the straw. I just used it for the straw. So, I need more. I'm sad they're gone. I was not on my game with that one. Okay, I'm going to cut this at five and a quarter tall. And then I'll cut it at four. Whoops. And then... One. So this little one inch strip for the inside and this for the front. And that's the card we're just working on. And then this is extra. Okay. Five and a quarter. I'm going to cut it at, there's my one inch strip. And there's my four inch. Okay. 
five and a quarter. One inch strip, four inch piece. Last one, five and a quarter. I don't think, I think this is the first time I've ever had you guys cut your paper, so that's why I forgot about it. Normally I cut all your paper for you. All right. Okay. All right, there we go. Paper cut. You can choose what you'd like to do with all these extras. Okay, totally up to you. Make more cards if you want to cut more card bases. Okay. All right, let's do a little bit the rest of stamping that we have. So we're going to stamp on our inside. We are going to stamp on our little rectangle and we're going to stamp on our white strip. So what are we going to stamp on them? We need our parakeet party. And um, so on the inside, we're going to put this strip right here. So I'm going to put the little, whoops, you can't see. I'm going to put the little cherry right here. Okay. So we'll ink him up. I didn't put a sentiment in here. You could put a sentiment in here. Okay. And then we need the ice cream here. Or not the ice cream, the container, the milkshake thing. <laughs> okay, and then on the white strip right in the center, we'll do Life is Sweeter with You. I'm going to move it slightly toward the end so I can banner it. I can banner it without cutting off too much. Okay, now I'm going to leave this out. I'm going to put this in a die cut pile and I'm going to put everything else that we just stamped and die cut and the other pieces that we stamped, right? We stamped and die cut these. I'm just going to set those off to the side while we finish our stamping. Okay. All right. Let's pull out the next card. Ooh, starry sky. Okay. So we'll have the same thing in here and I'm going to pull out the same pieces. This one this one and our inside mat and I'm gonna put these in here for now um, we got to clean off our parakeet party I never open this thing right <laughs> okay so we'll clean that off looks good All right, I hope that's not the last time I ever use Parakeet Party. I'm going to miss it. Okay, now we're on to Starry Sky. Okay, so cherry at the bottom. Cute. Look how good that stamps. Milkshake. This makes me want to make a milkshake or go buy one. You know who makes really good milkshakes? Do you guys have Five Guys where you live? It's like a burger place. That's my favorite place to go for shakes. They're really good there. You can get whatever kind you want. Usually I do chocolate and strawberry. And then it's like chocolate covered strawberry, right? At least that's what I think. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm gonna set this one in my die cut pile, and these are gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna pull out the pattern paper and set that with it too. Okay. All right, let's clean off stamps. Okay, oops, 
this. I really got ink all over this one. Angelique says, yes, she's never tried their shakes. I'll have to try it. Oh, they're so good, Angelique. They're so good. They have really good cheeseburgers, too. <laughs> they're, like, my favorite place to go for, like, it's not quite sit down. You know, like, you go up and you order from the counter, and then you go, like, they make it fresh, and then, but you you sit down and wait. But, um, so it's, like, in between sit down and fast food. But they're so good. Okay, let's see what color is next. Tahitian Tide. All right, see, this is my favorite cardstock color of the retiring in colors. I just love it. It's so pretty. I'm so hungry. Haven't been able to eat for the last four days. Oh, because you've been sick? Oh, I'm sorry. That's awful. I'll try to stop talking about food, but I'm hungry too. <laughs> I've, I've been eating fine the past four days, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> I don't have my children tonight, you guys, like this evening. Isn't that weird? My husband picked them up, and he's having a little afternoon time with them, so... My house is quiet, and I don't have to cook for anyone. So it's a little strange. Strangely quiet. And no one is asking me for anything. <laughs> so it feels kind of weird. All right. I know this is not the color that a cherry would be, but... It's pretty cute blue cherry, isn't it? All right, here's our milkshake. And this, I might need to re-ink this, so I'm not sure if this is going to work the first time or not. Okay, I think all, most of the in-color things are already sold out. I'm pretty sure. Oh, sorry, Angelique. Those those are the worst. They're really awful. They are awful. We all had the stomach bug. Like, it went through the whole family, like, around Christmas. And it was so bad. Like, I couldn't believe how bad I felt. So I haven't felt like that in a long time. All right, two more to go. Let's see who's next. Sweet Sorbet. I think that leaves us with Orchid Oasis left, right? Hi, Milo. Hi, buddy. He's hungry, too. Mm -hmm. All right, pull out our pieces here. Put these that we stamped in here. Put these in here. Okay. This weekend, what am I doing? Oh, I'm actually going out to dinner for my birthday. It is not my birthday, but I'm going out to dinner for my birthday because my my friend and I, we always go out every year for our birthdays, and my birthday is in December. But this is the first time that we've been able to get together. <laughs> so um, we're going out, and we're going to have tacos because I love tacos. So we're going to go out and have tacos and maybe a frozen beverage or two. And it's going to be fun. So kids have sports tomorrow. And then, um, yeah, and a couple errands. And then I'm going out to dinner. And then I'm trying to remember what else I had to do this weekend. I think there was something. There's something on Sunday, but I can't remember what it is. Don't 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 you hate when that happens? You're like, I need there's something I need to do, but what what do I need to do? <laughs> well, either way, I need to whoa, I plan on designing more cards. So the uh, monthly subscription class for May is um it features bright skies, which is a carryover. So that's gonna be really cute. I'm really excited to make those cards. And then I need to make the um, in-color 
kickoff party cards with hot air balloon. Those are going to be really cute. Those will be just like these cards where they'll be like the layout will be the same for all five cards, but the, the colors will be different, you know? And we're definitely going to use some of that glimmer paper because that's adorable. So I'm really excited to make those. And then the fun fold, which the fun fold class for me is a set that I can't even buy yet. So I'll make those as soon as I can buy the set. It's going to be with, what is it called? I'd have to look on the schedule, but we're going to use a pocket die. There's like a fun pocket die. So like gift card holder cards. Oh, Angelique says she loves tacos too. I know. What, what, what is there to not love about tacos? Man, they're good. So I'm excited to have tacos. Okay, and then last one right here. Life is sweeter with you. Yay! All right, I think that's it for the in colors for stamping. I'm sad. Well, sad, sad. Okay. While we're here, do you mind if I clean these off really quick? Do you mind? <sighs> okay. All right, tell me what you all got from the retiring um, stuff. Did you all buy something that you were waiting for or hadn't bought earlier in the year? Like, did you all get something that you, for your last chance to buy it ever? <laughs> Or were you good? <laughs> did, did you behave and not make any purchases? I'm really bad. I did not behave at all. Not at all. Except I missed out on the G block. Okay, we're going to die cut these all. And then we're going to assemble. So it didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it was going to take to make these cards. I mean, I know we haven't made them yet, but... I thought this part was going to take a long time. Got to move these out of the way. A couple sets I'm really sad to see retire. Like, um, I really wanted to use Taco Fiesta for a class, but that's gone. That's retiring and it's gone. Um... I also wanted to use the little monkey. Oh, Elaine missed out on Hey Chuck. Angelique says I didn't behave. What'd you get, Angelique? Let's hear it. What else retired? I already went through and pulled out my retiring stamp sets, so I can't even look up and tell you. Um... Yeah, I'm I'm just sad that some of them are retiring. All right. Elaine, I'm sorry you missed out on Hey Chuck. I have that one. I'll tell you it's not cute. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> I may be lying, but maybe it'll make you feel better. <laughs> Oh, I need new post-it tape here. This one's seen the end of its life. All right. Okay. I can't tell. Oh, that one's supposed to go right there. There we go. I was wondering where Milo went. He's right under me. He is cute, though. Oh, he's so stinking cute. That cute little Chuck. I know. There's a couple other cute ones that I'm sad to see go. But, yeah, so I, I, I'm sad I didn't get a chance to do a class with um, the little monkey. And there were a couple other I was really sad to pull off the shelf. I'll tell you what I am most excited for is um, 
well, I'm really excited for classes this summer. The stamp sets are really cute and um, I'm just really excited for the classes, but I'm really excited to design cards with the latte. What's it called? Latte Love. I really like that set. So I am um, really excited to make those cards. <laughs> I'm making myself design cards in order of class because that's what I should do because then I can kit them up as I need to and already have the cards designed and all that kind of stuff. But it's really hard to hold off on making cards with that kit. So, okay. Oh, Trish says, I tried out the post-it tape last night and really liked it. Didn't rip my paper like the pink tape I was using. Oh, good, Trish. I'm glad it worked. I'm glad. I love post-it tape. And it seems to hold up really well for a long time in the die-cut machine. Angelique says, I'm so sad I missed out on the Regal Reindeer stamp. Oh, but you got the dies, but not the stamp. <laughs> Maybe you can find someone who would be willing to part with theirs. I don't have that one. Trish likes I like lot. Trish likes latte love also. I know it's so cute. I feel like people either like that one or they don't. Like I feel like if you like coffee, you like that set. So the ribbon. I know a lot of people don't like the ribbon because you can't tie it nicely, but I think there are other ways you can make the ribbon be really cute. So okay, let's pick a card. Yeah, the Latte Love is one of my favorite sweets. Mine, too. I'm, I've am i been waiting for those swirl adhesive dots to come back. I've been checking, like, twice a day <laughs> for them to come back in stock. Okay, let's do Orchid Oasis just because that's the one that I have pulled out. Okay, so we can do a little bit of gluing. Let's set aside our pieces for the ice cream here. And let's do some gluing. Okay, so let's glue this little strip onto the inside and let's glue our DSP to the white mat for the front. Okay, so I'm going to do glue on this and glue on this. So this will go here and if you ever have too much like your paper hangs off on here you can always flip it over and trim it off okay all right and then this onto here and then we'll glue these to the card base too oh we should burn a sharp card base oh I moved some stuff and I don't know where I moved it to All right, so then we'll flip these over and glue these. Oh, I'm almost down to the end of, whoops. Sorry, I forgot to put my phone on silent. Okay, so this goes on the inside. And the front. That was Christine calling. One of you could go message her and tell her to come on for the live. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm live. Okay. All right. Let's put together our ice cream cone or our ice cream thing. And what's really cute about these is that they have a little um, slit. You can slide this, the straws in and position them how you like, like this. And they do kind of get held in there. And then what I do is I put a little dimensional right there to hold them in place. Okay. So now they are held. Trish, gotta run going to the movies. Which movie? Enjoy, have fun. Hopefully it's date night. Okay. All right, so now those are held onto there. We are going to glue that. We're going to glue these together. So let's glue. I'm going to pull out my silicone mat. And let's put a little bit of glue at the top here. 
and we're gonna glue our glimmer down first. Dune too. Ooh. Enjoy. Have fun. I wish I was going to the movies. That sounds fun. Okay, and then this will just put on the card on top of it. So we're gonna flip this over and add dimensionals. Maybe I'll go like that. I feel like this needs two up here. You could be really picky and put a little one down there. Okay, you don't have to. But you could like this. Okay. All right. Let's pull out this piece. And we are going to take our matching twine. Here's mine. Okay, this is... Orchid Oasis. So pull out your Orchid Oasis twine. You don't need a lot. We're going to, let's see how much you need. I mean, maybe 12 inches at most. That's probably way too much. Let me cut off 12 inches and see, see if that works. Where did my scissors go? Okay, so I cut off 12 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to go up to like the third little bump out. I, I don't know what you call that. <laughs> and I'm going to put the ribbon at that third little bump out there. See how it pokes out from there? Okay, and I'm just going to tape it down in the back so it stays. So I'm going to take a little piece of tear and tape that third little bump out and just stick it right there okay all right that's gonna help us when um, we're tying our bow so I'm gonna wrap it around and tie a bow off to the left hand side and this really helps if you have a reverse tweezers let me grab mine So reverse tweezers works really well as like a third pair of hands or a third, yeah, a third pair of hands. Okay, so I'm going to tie that in a little bow. Okay, 12 inches is maybe not quite enough. Okay, maybe a little bit more than 12. We're going to make it work though. I'll try again. Next card I'll do longer. There. Okay. So you need a little bit more than 12. Maybe 18. Okay. Now that's going to get dimensionals. And we put each card together the same way. So once you do the first one, the rest will go pretty quickly since we already did all of our stamping and all of our die cutting ahead of time. I can't get the backers off. There we go. I'm gonna get a little tray to keep these in. Okay, this is going to go centered left to right but more toward the top of the card. Right here. Our ice cream will go next. And remember, this is not the top of your ice cream. We're gonna add the top separately right here, which already has dimensionals on it. So this is gonna go in the center right here. with this layer on top okay all right ice cream one and then we need to do our sentiment and I'm gonna banner this with my what is this happy labels pick a punch and I'm gonna do like the little scallopy side and it looks a lot like the scalloped edge on the 
on the die cut here. Okay, now I like dimensionals. You don't need to do so much dimension if you don't like, if you don't like so much. But we popped up everything else. I figure why not pop up this, right? Oops, where'd it go? There we go. Okay. And then we'll put embellishments on last. All right, life is sweeter with you. Okay. Now we're gonna do this same thing for all of them. Okay. And we will do sweet sorbet next. Or you pull out whichever color you want to do next. I've got sweet sorbet here. So I'm going to banner my sentiment here. Oops, that one was, I cut that one close. Literally, I cut it close. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, dimensionals. And I'm going to glue this. Here. And then this to the inside. I love this color. It's so pretty. Okay. And this one to the white one. I think everyone, if you're a demonstrator, you've gotten your new catalogs now. Did everyone make their list of what they want? I know I did. Um, if you are wanting a catalog, if you click on this video description and click on more, sometimes you have to click more twice. You should be able to click on a link to fill out a request for a catalog. I just got them in the mail. So they can be shipped out. They can now be shipped out. So if you'd like one and um, you're not a demonstrator and you'd like one, let me know. And I'd be happy to mail you one. Too big of a list, says Christina. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Me too. My list is lengthy. Lengthy. I'm kind of like, I'm trying to pick it by month, right? Like, okay, this month I'll get whatever, X, Y, Z. And then I'll wait and I won't get, you, you know, these things till June. And then I'll get these things in July and then I'll get these things in March or not March <laughs> um, whatever month comes after July August so I'm trying to space it out we'll see we'll see how that goes but then of course you have to keep an eye on if something's getting on low inventory if it's something you really want, you kind of got to pick it up, right? I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> All right. This will go. Yeah. It's hard, Christina. I wonder if there are people who buy the whole catalog. <laughs> I'm sure there are. I just wonder who. Okay. All right, that's it for sweet sorbet. Okay, so that, I've got to move you guys down some. Close your eyes, make it dizzy. All right, let's see if that's better. 
So this goes about here. This goes over here. And then we gotta put our little ice cream. I seriously need Crafters Anonymous. <laughs> I, yeah. That would be no fun, Christina. Crafters Anonymous would not be any fun. But you are right. You are correct. I need Crafters Anonymous. I don't want Crafters Anonymous. It's too much fun. At least our habits are not bad for you. <laughs> right like we could do we could be doing a lot worse things so there's that we could be we could be doing things that are probably more expensive and a lot worse so I heard someone, they were being funny, but they were like, I'm making my craft purchases this year purposeful. And someone else was like, yeah, right, good luck. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's me. I would like to make them very purposeful and thought out and planned. And I start out that way. Always start out that way. And sometimes, like, I see something and I'm like, yeah, I don't really need that, right? And then you see someone make something with it. And then you're like, oh well, I think I need that, right? It's so cute. It wasn't cute at first. And then I saw so-and-so make something really cute with it. And then now I have to have it. So anyway, that's what I do. Million dollar demonstrators would be able to purchase like that. Probably. They, they can probably buy the whole thing, the whole catalog. Okay. Sweet sorbet. All right, then we'll do, next I have Tahitian Tide. And since I have the silicone mat out already, I think I'm going to put together the ice cream cone. Why do I keep calling it an ice cream cone? It's not an ice cream cone. It really is not an ice cream cone. <laughs> Okay, I used up those dimensionals. That was very annoying, I'll have to say. Yay. New one. A new pack. It's so satisfying opening a new pack of dimensionals. Just is. Okay. All right that and then this little guy what are you guys doing this weekend what are your plans anything fun fun and exciting I think it's supposed to be like 80 degrees almost on here on Sunday or maybe that's tomorrow Maybe I'm wrong and it's tomorrow. It's supposed to be like 80 degrees. I lost my tear and tape. It's underneath. Oh, here it is. Let's say it's underneath something somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 80 degrees. It must be tomorrow. The, although the kids have been wearing shorts all week. It's not that warm, but they've been wearing shorts all week long. <laughs> um, it's like 50s most of the week. And they're just wearing shorts to school. I'm like, aren't you guys cold, like, on the playground? No, they're not. They're hot. Like, I, I, I guess you're running around. Ooh, Christina says she's getting ready, getting ready for her daughter's wedding in Kentucky. Well, that's fun. When is she getting married? Kentucky. I bet it's already nice and warm there. I bet it is. Oh. 
Okay. Um, let's put dimensionals on this. Oh, this month. Well, that's exciting. April 20th. That's a good day. Good day. I bet it'll be super nice weather and... I don't know that I've been to Kentucky. It'll be good weather. Oh, she, she hopes it'll be good weather. It's in a barn. Well, you'll be outside. So even if it rains, you can go in the barn, right? We went to a wedding last June that was outside and it didn't rain for the ceremony, which was good. I don't know where they would have put the ceremony if it rained because everybody sat outside. But the reception was like in a, in a barn and it absolutely downpoured, but we were all fine. I mean, nobody got, we were all in the barn. So I think as long as you have somewhere to go if it rains, it'll be fine, right? It's those people that sometimes have like a full outdoor, like with like just like a canopy. I think sometimes that can be challenging because when it rains, it might rain into the canopy, like underneath, I mean. But I'm not really sure. I got married in a church. Barn, like outdoor barn weddings were not a thing when I got married, but I wish they were. That would have been, that would have been fun. I think that would have been more my style. Yes, ma'am, you're funny. Okay, all right. This guy goes here. Oh, I forgot to do the sentiment. So cute. Life is sweeter with you. If you really wanted to, and you had this set, you could take the little cherry, stamp it, and die cut it out, and put the little cherry on top. Christina says, I'm country. Yes, I really like the barn wedding. I went to a barn wedding not that long ago, and instead of having cake, they had um, different kinds of pie which I thought was a great idea, like apple pie and strawberry rhubarb pie, or I don't even know what they were. I had apple pie. So I thought that was really cute and different, and I don't know. Not that I plan on getting married again, but I was like, if I ever have a renewal ceremony, whatever those are called, I'm totally doing pie. Okay, Tahitian Tide. Are we down to one? One more? No, two more. All right, we've got orchid. No, this is... Amen, love pie. <laughs> this is not orchid. This is um, Starry Sky now. Angelique's favorite. One of them. Okay. Life is sweeter than you. So if you have this card kit, are you on a roll now? Are you, are you on a roll like I am? Just... Puts in a lawn. Okay, put our dimensionals on here. Good boy, Milo. Are you getting hungry down there, Milo Bear? Yeah. So, Christina, you said getting ready for your daughter's wedding in Kentucky. Does that mean you have to drive? Like, are you going, like, you don't live in Kentucky? You're going over to help her? All right. Okay. Cute. And then this one on here. Ooh, Elaine. My niece had little ham pies like at McDonald's, only round and on a stick. My daughter's friend had a barred wedding this past fall and had a multitude of donuts. Massive variety. You know, that's a cute idea, too. I saw somebody, um, they did that, and they had like a donut, 
Like, it was like a board. Somebody clearly had made it, like, out of wood. And there was a, just a whole bunch of pigs. And on each pig, there was a donut hanging from the pig. <laughs> it was really cute. I, I don't remember how many kinds of donuts they had, but... So, Elaine, did they not have... Same, same with your daughter then. So, well, she probably didn't have cake, but I bet... Did the person who had the... Her friend who had the donuts, did they have cake then? Or was it just the donuts instead? I, I feel like a lot of people don't have cake anymore. I feel like a lot of people do something else. Not, not cake. Tear and tape. Mm -hmm. I did cake, but I got married a while ago. So I did, I think I did chocolate cake, but now I can't remember. I don't know. My husband doesn't like chocolate, so maybe I didn't do chocolate cake. Oh, Christina says she lives in Ohio. We'll travel there. Her other daughter is in Georgia. Our son is here in Ohio. I get to see all my grandbabies at one time. Oh, my goodness. I bet they'll love that, too. They probably don't get together that often either. All those cousins get to play. Well, that'll be fun. You have an exciting spring. Very exciting. Okay. Oh. Angelique, I hope now that you're feeling better, you're going to go either have tacos or what else was it we talked about? Oh, Five Guys. <laughs> I hope you're either going to have tacos or a shake from Five Guys. Where do you guys get tacos from? Where you guys are? What like what's what's your, what's your favorite taco place? We have a place up here called um Azul Tequila and it's really good. I wonder if I can do this without the silicone mat. Let's try. I didn't die cut this one so well. Elaine says they only had a small cake for the couple to cut and taste as newlyweds. Oh, well, that's that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Did you guys um, either save the top of your cake, if you're married, or um, have the bakery make a little cake for you to freeze and eat on your one-year anniversary? That, that was a big thing when I got married. Um, I didn't do it. <laughs> But that was a big thing when I got married. A lot of people were doing that. Not I. All right, I'm getting lazy with my dimensionals here. Grandbabies must be fun. I only have one daughter who is marrying age, so I'm hoping between her and her fiancé that will happen within the next two years. Have my fingers crossed. Oh, that's funny, Elaine. I hope you get grandbabies, too. My kids are one, well, they're three of nine grandkids. So when we all get together, there's 17 of us, and it's very loud. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Okay, last one. Last one. Made me think of the Morgan Wallen song <laughs> last night. Okay, all right. Get that in. Stick those down. Let's do this one. I love how we're doing each one of these in a different order. Why not, right? Mix it up. Okay. I used to make wedding cakes. You made wedding cakes? Oh my goodness. It was definitely popular, not so much anymore. They, oh, the grandkids are fun and you're allowed to send them home. Yeah, you, you, you get to do all the things, all, all the fun things with them, right? 
and then send them home when they get tired and cranky. <laughs> right? Isn't that about how it goes? Yep. All right. Um, gluing, let's glue this. Glue this down. All right, so when are we, oh, so after class, I will go and get everyone the PDF for this. And then we are next together on Tuesday again already for the monthly subscription class. Oops, I got a glue mark on there. Whoops. I do have a hard time keeping white, paper white. I'll tell you that. I get smudge marks on it all the time. Okay, let's glue this down. Okay, this is a fun card. Thank you. It is fun. Fun enough to make five times, right? Some cards, if they're too complicated, you wouldn't want to make it five times. I mean, you could, but <laughs> I thought it was a cute layout, easy to replicate, and really cute in all the colors. Although I don't know what ice cream is green or purple. I guess I've never had green or purple ice cream. Have you? <laughs> I, I have not. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist, right? Somebody probably has green or purple ice cream. We have a place called Bridgman's, which I actually went to Bridgman's as a kid. It's not the same Bridgman's that I went to, but I went to an ice cream place called Bridgman's as a kid. And I used to go there a lot. Like, me and my mom would meet my grandma. And um, we'd always eat dinner or whatever. And then I would get their ice cream. They had such good ice cream. And I found a... Bridgman's not too far from me and so we went and tried it out last summer and it was just as good as I remembered so ooh, mint mint chocolate chip yes totally mint chocolate chip you're right I mean there's no chocolate chips but we could add chocolate chips grape or lemon lime ooh ice cream with kool-aid you can you know what? This could be sherbet too, right? Like green lemon lime sher sherbet. So we either mint chocolate chip, which is my daughter's favorite. Well, let's talk about what's our favorite ice cream. My daughter's favorite is mint chocolate chip. Absolutely loves it. My son's is chocolate. I don't know. My other daughter probably likes either chocolate or vanilla. She's, she's my plain kid. She likes plain cheeseburgers, plain ice cream. Lately, she's been on a plain chocolate kick. But she does like plain vanilla, too. My favorite is probably... There's a cute little ice cream place by me. It's called Selma's. And they sell, like, the good... Not, like, soft serve ice cream. You know, like, the good hard ice cream. And they have an ice cream there. It's my favorite. It's called Exhausted Parent. <laughs> and... um. One time I remember I, it was a kid working the counter and I was like, what's in the exhausted parent ice cream? And he's like, really? <laughs> I'm like, I'm just asking. And he, it's, it's espresso ice cream. Like, so it's like vanilla ice cream, but they put espresso in it when they make it. So espresso ice cream. And then, um, it has like cough, like chocolate covered coffee bean chunks in it. And, and then it's like it cho chocolate chunks. I don't know. It's delicious. So that's, that's my favorite, chocolate covered, no, exhausted parent. <laughs> but I don't know if that's a thing other places. So Christina likes chocolate ice cream. Parlor ice cream is the hard serve. Yeah, it's good. It's so good. And they have all sorts of stuff there. Like the kids like to go there because sometimes they don't get ice cream. They get like 
a shake or like they have all sorts of stuff there. Okay, let's pull out our pearls. And I have to find my take your pick. So you can put as many pearls on each one of these as you want. They're all, all the pearls are the same size. Like they're not small or large. So I'm going to do three. I Sometimes I do three, sometimes I do five or seven. Usually I don't do an even number, but sometimes I do depending on how they look or like if I'm putting them in a flower. So it depends on the card. Okay. I had some lemon raspberry homemade. Oh, that sounds good. Lemon raspberry homemade. Does anybody have the... Oh, does Ninja make it? It's... Yeah, I think it's called the Ninja Creamy. Is that what it's called? That homemade ice cream maker? Lemon raspberry. Oh, that sounds really good. I love like lemon raspberry cake. Now I want some ice cream, you guys. Maybe Angelique left because we made her hungry. <laughs> I talk too much about food. All right. That was Orchid Oasis. Here's Starry Sky. Okay. And Sweet Sorbet. These uh, pearls are really pretty in Sweet Sorbet. Really in every color here, they're really pretty. Um, great summer flavor. Yes. Yes. Great summer flavor. I also like cinnamon ice cream. It goes really good. Like if you go to an apple orchard, you can usually get it with like homemade cinnamon ice cream with apple pie. That's really good. There's Tahitian Tide. I'm sad this color is going. Although I really like the new in colors this year um I like like the bright in colors you know so I was happy that we run a bright in color year okay and there's parakeet party all right you tell me which one's your favorite guys tell me which color get them all in here maybe maybe okay which one's your favorite? Oh, and I don't have any snacks for Milo. Hmm. He ate them all. I'll have to see what I can find. <laughs> we have to give him a snack. Okay, let me know which one's your favorite. I like them all. I don't know that I have a favorite. I love all these colors. I'm sad. I was sad to see them go. Sad to see them go. Okay, um, before we go, we have to do the drawing, remember? I remembered. Are you guys so proud of me for remembering? <laughs> I, um, I remembered. Okay, so this is the drawing. We're going to draw for these. The 2022 to 2024 in color stamp and write markers. Those are the water-based markers where you get just the one of each color, not the Stampin' Blends, where you get the two. So of the people who purchased class, I gave everyone a number. Ooh, Christine says Sweets or Bay, but they are all fun. Yep, that could be sort of lemon raspberry ice cream. Why not? Or Sorbet, right? Sweet Sorbet. It's probably Sorbet. Or Sherbert, as we say up, up here in Wisconsin. So... Okay, um, everyone who signed up for class, I gave you a number. So I will list off what your numbers are. So Pat Fleming, you're number one. Pat Vidrio, you're number two. Sandy Clay Emery, you're number three. Angelique McClendon, you're number four. Cheryl Dean Anderson, you're five. Trish Fagley, you're six. Patty Wright, you're seven. Christina Heiser, you're eight. Christina Fullen, you're nine. Pat Nimmel, you're ten. Sally Hernandez, you are 11. Okay, so I'm going to do a random number generator here. I'm gonna... Okay, so let's do, let me get a random, random number generator, and I will put, 
Look who's calling me. <laughs> 1 through 11. Okay, so it's 1 through 11, and I'm going to hit generate. And whatever number it lands on, that is the person who wins. Okay, ready? That way it's fair. Number 11, and number 11 is Sally Hernandez. Okay, yay, Sally. All right, Sally, I think you have a class. I'm wondering if you have a class that you signed up for that I haven't shipped out yet. Otherwise, let, let me know, Sally, if you are going to ship out... Um, I'm sorry, if you're going to purchase another class, I will stick this in your package, okay? That that way it doesn't have to come separately. But you let me know, okay, Sally? So I'm going to circle your name. you got to find a pencil because you are the lucky winner today. Sally Hernandez. Oh, Elaine likes Tahitian. Yay, Sally. I don't think Sally's watching today. I'll have to send her an email. All right, let me get my comments back up. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm going to flip the camera and um, let me get Milo. Oh, he's under me. <laughs> let me see if I can find him some snacks here. Um, hold on just a second. Let me see. Okay, thanks everyone. Okay, uh, let me flip the camera. All right, Milo, you ready? Here he is, see? <laughs> He's waiting so patiently. Oh, good boy, hi, good boy. Oh, yes, I know, such a good boy you are. You want to sneeze? Oh, good boy. Who's a good bear? You are, Milo. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yes. Got to put your snacks here. He ran out of his other snacks. We finished him up last Tuesday. Good boy. Such a good helper. Isn't he a good helper? <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for spending your Friday afternoon with me. I hope you had a lot of fun. These cards are super cute. Um, they were fun to make. I'm very sad to see the colors go, but the new ink colors are amazing. So that'll be fun to create with those starting in May. So let me know if you want a card kit or if you want to sign up for the Ink Color Club. If you need help with finding the link and getting there and whatnot, I'd be happy to help you. So I hope everyone has a great weekend and I hope it's warm wherever you're going to be. <laughs> and I will catch you all next Tuesday for the monthly subscription class with Bright Skies, okay? All right, thanks guys, we'll see you later. Take care, bye.